Hello everyone, it's Kent here. Welcome back to more Universe Unbroken. The first match, The Rock vs Shawn Michaels. With his tattoo around his nipple. Rock is going up. He's gonna lift one arm up to God. He's playing The Rock right now. So the first match, I think I'm actually gonna be Shawn Michaels for this one. And the Rock is going for that back suplex everyone have. Oh, the float over neck breaker. No. Why don't they have different movesets for every superstar? Like they have in Here Comes the Pain. And look at this, switching music from nowhere. Connect. It's over. The Rock didn't even put one move in. And Shawn Michaels is the winner. Why is he having a Team Bring It sign after I won? Is he stupid? So top rope, clapping. Okay, it's like Rey Mysterio. Now he's falling to his knees like, God, clap for me. The next match, Ryback versus Curtis Axel. Not this again. Feed. Me. More. Bananas. Can't change any colors on his outfit. I think he can change his shoes though. But who the hell wants like green shoes and then the same outfit? Ryback was also in Nexus by the way. <laughs> he also skipped Sheffield. And Curtis Axel was Michael McGillicott in Nexus. And CM Punk was in Nexus. Like everybody have been in Nexus. Just Cena was in Nexus. <laughs> Soon you're gonna see the Bellman is in Nexus. This is a number one contenders match. Okay. Probably for the, I don't know, United States title maybe? Then I'm gonna go with Curtis then. Oh, ooh, right back to the outside. Now we're going to the top rope. Get up right back. Here we go. Oh, oh, what a neck breaker. The referee is getting to a six count. Oh, I'm gonna get in back first. Get in back, back in maybe. Oh no, I can't run anymore. That's cheating. No, oh, he got in before me because I couldn't run. Why the fuck is there a YOLO sign in a WWE game? Come on, right back. The Human Wrecking Ball. Oh, I think Costas know who that is. Like when you watch TV, are you gonna care about somebody have a sign? I brought my own singlet. I think it was live raw and a woman just flashed her tits. Then the whole show would be taken off air. Oh, look at this. The neckbreaker connects from nowhere. Come on, referee. You gotta pin this. One. The one count. Oh my god. If they didn't fix this in 2K14, I swear I'm gonna go over there and kill them with a scissor. Oh, right back with a camel clutch. Oh, break. <laughs> Whoa, ooh, me to the clothesline. Uh oh, I got a ring escape. Come on, ring escape. I can't. Uh oh, there's a count. One. Oh, <laughs> one count as well. I sold it perfectly. Oh no, right back. Uh oh, going for the shell shock that looks like shit. It connects. Right back got the shell shock. What is he doing? Okay. One, two, come on! Yes, a kick out. Right back with a power bomb. Oh, into a pin. One, two. <gasps> oh, oh, a poke to die. A finisher. The perfect flex connects. One, two, three. Curtis Axel wins. He's the number one contender for a championship we don't know. Whoa, Kofi Kingston. He took out Curtis. Oh my god. Guess what it is for the US title. Or just wait, I'll get that. Have you guys seen Kofi Kingston in WWE All-Stars? It looks like he has taken crack. Talking about somebody taking crack, it's David Otunga. Why is Daniel Bryan's hair brown and then it's grey on the side? I don't get it. Yes! 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 No! Yes! Potato cream! It's like he tripped into baby oil and then his body came out. Daniel Bryan also was in Nexus for like a week and David Otunga was in Nexus. It's like Nexus everywhere. Kane, okay, what is Kane gonna do here? Okay, he's gonna watch the fight. Okay, I'm gonna be down with Brian. Now I want to say hello to Kane. Hello Kane. Can I punch you? What happened to the interactive stuff? Oh, okay. Come on, punch him down. Oh, Kane, where are you going? Otunga, look what you did. You made Kane angry and sad and he left. You scared my partner away. Funny how Otunga made Kane leave. People power! Ugh. Otunga is in the middle of the ring. He's trying to get to the ropes. But he's going backwards for some reason. I don't know. Okay, he's trying to get to the bottom ropes. I don't think so. Because now, you have tapped out. Daniel Bryan wins. The next match, a single false count anywhere match between Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. Oh! Del Rio attacked Sheamus. Del Rio the damn bastard. Yeah, I said bastard in a PG game. It's just annoying, his ring announcer is annoying. I don't even get why people 
said, I was so glad when they fucked up his ring announcer voice. Okay, here we go. Brokey connects, but he's only orange, so it's gonna be a one count. Just watch. One and a kick out. Now we're gonna do a rolling senton on the steps. Because that worked in SVR 11. Oh, it actually worked. And the Leo was like, I'm a snake. And now we're not gonna do the bro kick anymore. We're gonna do the old style Seamus. Gonna hit it through the table, if it's possible. Here we go. Oh, through the table. And actually in SVR 11 you could have like a lot of table pieces on the ground. One, two, three. Seamus is the winner. One, two, three. Blah! And The Undertaker versus Randy Orton. Why do they have a picture of Undertaker with the old hair when he have a new hairstyle? I remember when this entrance was supposed to be a pay-per-view entrance. It doesn't fit him to have a hat when he don't have long hair. He should have that new jacket he used in WrestleMania. And we should skip this entrance because if I don't then you can actually listen to a song before it's finished. I wonder how long it took to make all those tattoos like that. For this match I'm gonna be The Undertaker. It's been a time, it's been a long time. The Undertaker vs Randy Orton, the rematch after WrestleMania 21. The Undertaker with the Hell's Gate, and Randy is trying to counter, and he's lifting The Undertaker. Ooh. Now with an Irish whip to the outside, get up. We're gonna do that, look at this, timing it perfectly, and then over the top. Okay, that didn't work. Don't tell me you don't have it, and oh, I punched down the ref, uh oh. Over the top, oh, and I missed. Whoa, Randy, what a schoolboy, one. Two, and a kick out. Oh, look at Randy, with his DDT from the top rope. Oh, okay, Undertaker to the top rope. Come on, Randy, take this. What? When did Randy get an RKO? He didn't even have a finisher. What? Oh my god, RKO from nowhere. Come on, rope break. One. Uh, <laughs> Why is he taking down the my awesome announce table that I made? You destroyed my announce table. And we're gonna jump with the Undertaker from the top rope. If he does this in real life, he's probably gonna break, break his back, but... The elbow drop through the announce table. And now, oh, we caught him. We're gonna go for the tombstone. There we go. Okay, tombstone pile driver. After the crossbody, I think. One, two, three. The Undertaker wins. And the under Oh, Brock Lesnar. Okay, he's saying he wants the belt. The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, maybe. At Money in the Bank. That's gonna be awesome. But yeah, that's it for this show. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Kenneth, signing out. Peace. If you want, you can check out my Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Also, if you want to check my Playtrue channel out, then click the annotation on the screen or check the link below. Thanks.